Hello once again, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. In the last episode, we got a lot of money. It's been a few days since I recorded that episode, so I'm just going to familiarise myself with what we did. We got a lot of money. Sweet. Right, let's press on then. We'll see what we can do. We were going to think about doing maybe this code mission. We have got several level 3 bosses that we need to beat um, before everybody who could beat them levels out of it. And we were thinking, you know, maybe we should take some of these newly minted level 3ers. Well, I think maybe we try and make sure that whenever we take a, a troop into a boss fight, it's always as good a troop as it can be. That seems like a sensible idea. The more difficult the, the dungeon around it, I think will dictate how much we worry about that sort of guideline. So the cove, the wheel, these are two quite difficult places because obviously they have... A lot of things that can go wrong. And the warrens and the ruins are slightly less difficult, but as of course we level up, that becomes less and less true. I think it's probably time to look at upgrading some people and maybe killing this necromancer. Now I seem to remember the necromancer moves itself to the back by summoning, but we can kill the things it summons and bring it forwards again. And it doesn't necessarily have a huge move resist, so maybe we should think about taking someone like Miri for the everybody attack, the Hound's Harry. Uh, the target whistle with less prop could also help. The blackjack's not that useful, um, but, you know, they've got the, the, the Hound's Rush here is a good bleed and some damage versus marks and it can hit the back, as can the mark itself. So these two synergize very nicely with one another and the mark, I think, lasts more rounds than than is less economically viable. So it's, it is economically viable is what I'm saying. If we turn blackjack off, we can also have... Um, maybe a guard or a stress heal. Honestly, I don't think it's worthwhile. We should leave Blackjack on. Uh, and then we have the opportunity to stun something that we might be considering stunning. To try to stop something having a, a go, basically. Uh, so we put Miri here. What's your um, problems? Flagellant is fine. That's okay. These two are okay. These three are okay, really. Uh, we've got a Warrens Explorer, so maybe we want to look at what's available in the Warrens. The Swine King. Well, this is the one where we don't kill the little squirt. And we make sure we kill the king a lot. But the king is three wide, so again, we've still got the same set of options to us there. We've got Ash is good in the third position. We've got... I'm thinking of taking um, Tim or Doug here. Because their attacks at the back are super, super powerful. But unfortunately, we can probably only take one of them without sort of de-leveling them completely. And then maybe we sort of hedge our bets and take uh, Pete or Bagel. It's kind of good that they're both in this level range. But we don't have to, that's the thing. We could always take someone like Marie, who, despite being with us for such a long time, is still quite a low level. Well, a low level for the amount of time that she's been with us. Um, I mean, when stacking up the Blight and possibly the Bleed on the Necromancer seems like a good idea. Maybe we do this. So let's go back to the estate for a second. We'll come into the guild and we'll put everybody in here. Now Marie, you're going to be using mostly play grenade and probably also battle for medicine. Now I'm going to sort of, I'm going to hold back on spending too much money here rather than just clicking on everything and going book wild. Because this does go down a lot faster than you might give it credit for. You know, numbers less than one still add up to more than two quite quickly. If that makes sense. It does make some sense. Don't worry. Uh, probably... Well, no, not you. I was wondering. So we're going to want Hound's Rush. We're definitely going to want... Uh, mm, what are we going to get from this? More more less prot. <laughs> good job. Uh, a better chance of actually succeeding at that debuff. It's pretty good. Hound's Harry is something we can do if we're not in the right position. For some reason. I think we take this one and this one. Not too worried about this one. And the Blackjack, we're very unlikely to be using it on this mission. Ash, not going to use that. We want you to have Divine Grace and Divine Comfort. These two can stay because, again, that's not Ash's primary purpose in this mission. So we're not going to do that. But we will take Iron Swan to a great degree. What do you actually have set? Wicked Hack, yes. Iron Swan, yes. Barbaric, yow. And if it bleeds... Now, if it bleeds, we'll not be able to hit the Necromancer unless we move the Necromancer. And it's entirely possible that actually we want to not take that and take that. But we can switch 
just before we go in. Um, so it may be worth taking if it bleeds. I'll, I'll just completely upgrade Tim, basically. Um, it's the only unit of all of them where everything we have is going to be useful at some point. I think. Uh, and then we'll go into the blacksmith. This is basically why I didn't want to. That's extremely expensive. I'll upgrade the important things. Like Ash not dying is important. Miri doing damage is important. But everyone else, because Ash is going to have such good heals thanks to those trinkets that we got. Um, I think these are the most important things to do. Everyone who's doing damage, take the damage. Uh, take yeah, take the the weapon damage. Whereas everyone who's not doing damage, hopefully we can tank it with our heals. See, that's that's a significant proportion of our money there, and we've only got one more upgrade here, and we're not going to be able to do that for some time. Uh, let's also check these before we do anything else. I mean, I don't want to spend the money, really. I would like to have some left over for provisioning, but... Um, this is probably the one we're going to use anyway. Ash, we've looked at recently? No, we looked at Ziki. Chant, less stress, damage, and reduce stress. More accuracy, more dodge. It's probably pretty good for a... Uh, to apply to a um, uh, Hellion. What else have we got? This is a prevent nighttime ambush, which we've already got on Miri. So I think we should unlock this. Because it could be really good for, for the, the Hellion here. And the Hellion's got their own pretty good buffs already. So I don't feel like we necessarily need to spend extra cash there. So we should save a bit, because we are going to have to provision. But I think we shall probably not waste any more time. So we're going to go to the ruins. It's a medium mission, as usual. Uh, we'll just check. We've actually got a Ruins Phobe. That might not be a good idea. We could probably give um, Mary something that will reduce their uh, stress damage. I think we've got a Worry Beads or something like that. Yeah, less 10%. So we've got 10%, 20% plus. We've got 10% down. We have got a camp, so we will be able to get rid of some of it. I'm not even sure if it's worth it, you know? We could just get away with either of these. Disease resist is not too useful in the ruins, I think. More accuracy, sure. Things are going to start dodging us more now that we're a higher level. And this is the first time we've done a, a boss at this level as well, I'm pretty sure, because there's four of them, so I'm guessing there's only four. 30% um, stun skill chance. Why not? We, ha we do have that. Oh, I've already got this over. Um, on disorienting blast here, and it can hit the back. So there's a s there's a chance that the necromancer is um, is stunnable, and if it is stunnable, I'm going to be super happy that I've brought that with me. Now I'm half expecting to have to run away from this. I hope I don't have to. Debuff resist could be good. Hmm, but maybe we want to take something more uh, like this. This is really good for the putting that mark on and um, and having it available. I don't know if anyone actually benefits from it. Mark, 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 mark. No one really benefits from marked targets, which is kind of a shame. We could take someone else who does benefit. But I think this is all right, um, which means maybe we don't actually necessarily need to take this because that's great for the mark. But we'll just swap it. We'll swap it. Uh, human, yes. I assume that the necromancer is human. I also assume that all the necromancer's uh, other things are eldritch. But I'm going to give the eldritch charm to uh, to Tim here. No, that's a tenacity ring. This, this, and the human one. So we've got a lot less dodge now because they both do that. Um, maybe you should take less stress damage. More accuracy to melee skills. More damage to range skills. You do have some. In fact, I assume that most of your... Uh, more accuracy to range skills. Yeah, I think... I assume most of your hound attacks are range. Range, range, range. That's the only melee we've got, and we're unlikely to use it. So that seems decent, so we might as well provision. Just double check that I got everyone two trinkets. I did. Ruins, medium, veteran level three. We've got this and this. We will take some food... We've got plenty of cash, so we don't really need to worry about it too much. 
And I want to make sure we've got enough torches, so I'm going to overstock on those. It's probably overstocking. Uh, we'll take one key. Excuse me. One key. As in, wonky donkey. Uh, the bandages... I'll take a couple, just in case... What seems to happen is that um, we end... Oh, wait. I entertained a delegation of experts from overseas eager to plumb the depths of their knowledge and share with them certain techniques and alchemical processes I had found to yield wondrous and terrifying results. Having learned all I could from my visiting guests, I murdered them as they slept. Dude. The cops are listening. A devil um. walks these halls. <laughs> Only the mad or the desperate go in search of him. Be silent. Um... What tends to happen, or at least what happened in the last episode a few times, is that we would end the combat. There's a trap there. Mechanical hazards with a bleed. Possessed by evil intent. Like still on. And that meant that we didn't get the opportunity for our D bleeder unit to remove said bleed. So there's an obstacle there. We're probably going here. It's not there, so it's probably there. There's a trap on that direction, but there's an obstacle in that direction. I think we basically want to avoid as much combat as we can. And then afterwards, we'll see how we stand. Um, but mostly, if we can get to the boss without too much stress, like that, thanks for the demonstration. Uh, no touchy, please. Then... Ooh, this should be good. Uh, dead? No. What's your prop like? Quite high. I think we do this because of the prop debuff. So basically by taking the bandage we can cure a bleed that we're left over because we didn't get the opportunity for our de-bleed unit to de-bleed them. Uh, this is interesting. Shuffle this one. I guess it doesn't matter which one we try and stun. We did stun it. It has moved. That is essentially meaningless. Oh come on. <laughs> Seriously? You bastard. Tim. Tim, though. No. That's uh, two resisted moves. Quite interesting. Ten heal just completely makes up for what's happened so far, including the trap. I say completely. It wasn't completely. Another. Uh, I mean, another. Not even another crit. We're just critting already. Two dodges is much better. We don't have any repost abilities on this um, particular uh, excursion. And I kind of started getting used to them, to be honest. <laughs> I was enjoying it. So we'll bleed both of these. Impressive. That was basically a kill plus thing going on. It does have 120% bleed resist. I probably should have checked that out. Uh, but that's okay. We have damage versus beast on you just by default. Uh, you might as well party heal everybody. A crit of 10 on a party heal just puts everyone back to where we started from. And a crit of 14. We're doing fine. Uh... Room to room. We're doing fine in the hallway track, Remind right? Yourself, uh, we still have to act quiet, and Tim. Killer. We have to remind ourselves that the... The, uh... Boss... <laughs> I was listening to what Wayne was saying in my head. Um, is going to be a lot more difficult than anything we actually encounter Even along the, the way. This is why we brought shovels. Bent on preventing passage. And I think we should be in a very good position to continue the run after the boss is dead. But as long as the boss is dead, we can bail any time we want to. Secret door as well. That's so good. I'm super enthusiastic all of a sudden. In a way no one's ever t encountered before. We've brought the key. Just for that eventuality. The scouting chance, I believe, comes from uh, Miri there. Just in general, I think they have a huge... Wait. Is there no scouts? Oh, it's resistances. Huh. There's no, um, there's no scout thingy. I wonder what it's based on. Well, we're nearly there. There is one fight beforehand, which could be bad. Don't get me wrong. As the light gains purchase. This could go horribly wrong, especially if it's got high stress dealing units. But we still have our camp. So, you know, we can still deal with that. I'm going to apply two blights if possible, which is slightly better than one. Um, just basically is. Don't question. We could, if it bleeds one of these, 
what's this? Five damage per round. Did we upgrade that? We definitely upgraded that, right? Yeah, that's what it is. So, it's just five damage. Um, we could Wicked Hack this thing, but these things are taking damage. So, we either Iron Swan at an 84% chance, chance to hit. We, if it bleeds at an 89% chance to hit. I think that seems like the best one. Because now it's dead. So, that unit will not get a turn. This one will. That's okay. We all dodged, so that must be such a shit attack. I'm <laughs> sorry. Um, it's just the way it is. Dodge and speed, but no protection. This means we will not benefit from the, the target whistle there. We could uh, try and, you know, bleed everything, but I think we just do this. Yeah, perfect. I mean, that unit did get to go. Non-ideal, but at the same time, not complaining. That one didn't even leave a corpse. Perfect. Nothing has. Point blank shot might move you. It might it try to. It didn't succeed. That's fine. It's a tiny little bit of damage. Not something I'm worried about. If we stack up the damage over time on this unit, it has basically got a ticking clock going on. If it please can hit this. And I'm going to make it do so. Reason being, it's too wide, so it takes up the second slot so we can hit it. Uh, and we just hands rush it. And it should die on this turn or the next one. 5 plus 5 is 10. That's 19. We're unlikely to stun it due to the uh, the buff it doesn't have. Okay. Just due to the 70% it started with, I suppose. So it does get a go. It crit Marie, which is a bit of a shame. But if Marie gets a go, they can heal themselves. Uh, if. I guess we do this. I want Marie to be able to get that go. Plus though. It's got two stuns on it. Do they stack? <laughs> That'd be brilliant. Right, just do this. That's all I care about. I want to end the fight not requiring the use of my... Um, my bandage. I'm going to do a party heal because it's good enough, right? It gets two people closer to staying fully alive. Uh, might come back for that, but I'd rather come back for this. We don't have any room in our inventory at this stage to get all the stuff in that secret room. So what we're going to want to do is use up all our stuff on maybe on the boss fight. We're going to be able to use the doggy treats, for example. At least one of them. Don't know if it lasts for the battle or for some rounds. So we might use them both. Uh, and then we'll try and figure out what else to do with the rest of our inventory, such that uh, we get that... Um, we get the space for that thing. Right, what's your HP? It's a lot of HP, so we're going to have to do a lot of damage to it. It has dodge and speed, but no protection. But the things it spawns may... Things it spawns... Yeah, that's right. May yet still have protection. So we're going to want to save target whistle for now. And there's no point hounds harrying, I think. At this stage, we just lay on the damage as much as possible. And that does bleed anyway, so... It is what it is. Two and five. Not huge, but not terrible. So there's your uh, high protection unit. It does start with no turn. It doesn't have a turn yet, which is great. Um, this is an interesting conundrum. This is actually a pretty decent attack, because it's got 154% base stun. And this has high stun resist, so... I mean, we've basically got a almost guaranteed to stun this, and fairly likely to stun this. I wouldn't say quite likely, but you know, it's not unlikely, if you see what I mean. Or we stack on the bleeds, which I think might be the right thing to do. We shouldn't have too much trouble taking care of these units, but I don't want to be, you know, caught wrong on that assumption. Just keep doing this, Ash. That's your job. So there's going to be another one. Doesn't do too much damage, but it does spawn these things. It has. Well done. So... I think, honestly, we put the Noxious Blast on this unit, because... At some point in the future, we'll be able to play grenade both two at the back. And we'd like to be able to maybe get rid of this one before it does even have a go. I'll do that, yeah. That seems like a good idea. And then we can... It's only unholy, which is a shame. I'm not sure which unit to focus on at this stage, because every time... We kill one of these, it's basically going to go and spawn a new one. But I don't know what it's going to do if it can't spawn one, right? It could do something horrible. But we... 
Just increase damage on that. If we can get Miri to do all the damage to that, that's going to be greatly. Debuff. Move resistance. To oh, that's okay. So we should probably wicked hack this. So if Tim does most of the work against the front units, that's really good. I'm very, very much a fan of that. So that unit's dead. Um, and Miri does most of the damage to that. What does this do? Stress? Yeah, stress. Uh, and then Ash. Did we bring Ash? We brought Ash. Uh, Ash can do all the healing, and Marie can just do whatever seems most sensible. Which at this stage, I think. is probably to stun this. If entirely possible. It's the only unit yet to have a go. Well, this one is, but it's it dead. Weapon that cuts on its own. So these have obviously huge bleed resist because they don't have any blood. Um, but this unit's lost its plague. So on the next turn, if it spawns a unit, we're going to want to have to make sure that it doesn't get to keep it. But we keep stacking up the bleed on it. 31 crit! What an amazing attack. I'm <laughs> extremely happy with that. So this seems to be going okay. Uh, we can if it bleeds this, and I think it's worth doing. Simply for the reason that neither of these units is going to get a turn. Ash, honestly... I don't even necessarily think you need to have a go. That's three, and that's four. And you two are just completely healed, so... Why don't we try and sort of de-dodge this unit, right? Gives us some torch. That's not that important, I think. These have got prot and dodge, but... If we can remove this unit's dodge, if it doesn't resist, it did resist, which is a shame. It's got a high debuff resist, more than 50%. Um, but... If we can just make sure that that unit... Can't dodge at all, and then it's only up to Tim not to miss. Flesh is willing, but the spirit is weak. That seems like the wrong way around. Pretty sure that's wrong. Thank you so much for dodging, by the way. I'm extremely appreciative of that. This is a situation where we apply this sort of damage. Now we're on... Jesus Christ, are you serious? Eight? That's like 13 damage per round. Four rounds, that's 40... 52 damage? It's dead. In four rounds, it's dead. Oh, well, obviously it's... Yeah, it will last four rounds, so it is dead. So now we can do what the hell we want. Trollolol, let's just kill it. This has turned out so well, I could not have imagined that this party has done so... Such a, a trivialization of this job. Now, it was very lucky that the path to the boss didn't have any... Horrible encounters. So this is probably the worst thing that's going to happen to us right now. It didn't hit you. Shut up. Yeah, so literally... Um, <laughs> it's going to continue to do whatever the hell it wants. Uh, it's going to do the same thing. It's not going to change its things just because... <clears throat> uh, just because... There's nowhere to spawn. It's not going to do something that doesn't spawn something. It's just not going to be able to. Which is great. Ash, start um, healing up again, if you don't mind. And we'll see where this gets us. Uh, I don't... It's not... There's no point putting any more damage on it. Right? So, we just try and kill something. Just pick one. It doesn't matter. That may not have been the best one. Because Tim can't reach it. A debuff is... Probably doable. Tankable. I mean... Graveyard Slash is a dodge. It's not a dodge, but that's okay. It's nothing but... Well, you can reach it, and in fact, that's going to be 4 to 8 damage. But you might as well wicked hack this, right? Now that unit's dead. This unit will be here. Boss is dead. Ta-da! That's a very um, erudite way of saying that. Uh, but apparently the answer is no. Um, I'm just going to straight up Divine Grace... Rather than trying to pass a heal. That's much better. Because in two turns, if there are two turns left. Brilliant. We can heal at Tim as well. And then we're free to explore the rest of the dungeon as much as we like. Okay. Ash. Nope. So that unit's not going to live. I was hoping that it wouldn't do that much damage, so 
ask us how to go. But honestly, we came out of that with a little bit of stress on Murray, who is our lowest level here, These and creatures can be a little bit of damage on him. Right. Drop this. You can eat this. Take both of these. We didn't even use this, which was a little bit silly. Continue adventuring. Yes, that's right. Uh, I really don't know what we're going to do about the stuff in the secret room. We didn't open this. There's treasure here. There's a curio here. There's curios and treasures, but really, I'm thinking we just cut this short. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we go into this secret room. Hello. Don't. Ash, seriously. You're fired. Ooh. Fated. Tanks to turn any miss into a hit. That's actually pretty good. So, Ash, you're okay. I'll let you off this time. Warren's Explorer would have been pretty good. But improved scouting chance is not, it's not uh, imperative that we have that. So, we're going to the secret room. Then we will use... We didn't even use our firewood. I mean, what for? Right? So we get rid of this and this and this. Um, oh, I didn't need to do three. And then we'll go. That seems perfect. That's a great amount of money for the amount of money we spent preparing for that. And now those units are, you know, permanently upgraded. Well, apart from the fact that they're about to hit level five and then get upgraded a bit more. But you understand what I'm saying. We only got a few um, islands, but that's okay. Everyone's now level 5, which is kind of what I expected, and Marie is this far away from level 4, but Marie did so well, and can come back on another mission, and we ended up with Scattering has replaced Mercurial, which I think is probably slightly better. We don't have any range skills, so in fact I should try and let that burn in, and that's actually really good. I'm a fan of that. Um, Sitiomania, obsessed with food. That's going to be bad, because it will mean that we don't get the opportunity to put the medicinal herbs on things. Because Miri is just going to use them without, you know, thinking ahead. Uh, and speed if torch below 26. That could be good, but it has replaced Eldritch Slayer. And therefore it's not. That's probably why we did so well. Um, that one is. Was. More damage and warrants is great. But it has replaced Fast Healer, which I believe just means that they take more uh, more benefit from healings. I remember days when the sun shone and laughter could be heard from the tavern. New Quirk Enlightened. We'll only meditate for stress relief. That's a bit annoying because we've got far too many of those now. But, you know, it is what it is. We leveled up three people to level five. So now we can take level five people out, which is actually pretty decent. This is almost... Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Our Hellions... No. Our Vestals are so high level right now. It's just silly. We don't really have... It's sort of got a fighting party. Basically, we've got the party we just took out, except we have Jekri instead of uh, Miri. Uh, Miri? Mary. Okay. Those are close. You've got to forgive me for that one, right? Uh, Holmesy prayed and recovered 86 stress. Great. Dark Trojan has achieved enlightenment. Which is bad. Dark Trojan meditated and recovered 70 stress, which is good. There has been no event, so we have yet to see one of those, but they can still happen. Uh, that's really, really good. That's a... Uh, about half hour episode, which is fine with me. We didn't bring too much back, but we're back up to 18,000. We had 22,000, and then we spent almost all of it. We had, what, four left when we actually pressed the go button? And now we have more stuff to do. A champion Warren's mission. And there's this. Level six. That seems scary. Kill one shuffling horror. So that, obviously, kind of a future mission. Because uh, no one wants to do it. Okay, um, only Mary doesn't want to do it, but at least th she didn't bail. You know, click on something else. Uh, ruins. Kill the Fulminating Prophet. There's immediately another level 3 boss. That's going to be another Sonorous Prophet thing going on, so we need to make sure we've got some tanky people to take the fall. Uh, the literal falling, not the, you know, the, the blame. There's a Swine King, which is probably going to be good. So we should think about taking our level 3 people to do the Swine King and to do the Hag. But that will be it for this episode. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.